What's up guys? So in the last video what we finished doing was I'm um, having the bullet detection between the bullets and all of the asteroids. And so now the game is it looks like it's fully working. Um, the only thing we have to really add to make it complete is having it detect whenever the player detects one of the asteroids. Because the way it's set right now, like I can just go through all of them, nothing happens. So we need to add some lives to the game to where the user has like three lives, for example, and if they lose all of their three lives. Then the game is over and then the user can decide if they want to play again or not and so to do that we're going to get out of here and we are going to go down to the main while loop so right here and what we're going to do is we're going to loop through all the asteroids and each one's going to check to see if it hit the player so we can go in right here where it says 4a and asteroids and what we're going to do is we're going to before the for loop that goes and checks each of the bullets we're going to check to see if that asteroid hit the player and to do that we're going to need two if statements similar to these ones right there what we're going to do is we're going to say if player.x is greater than or equal to a.x and player.x is less than or equal to a.x plus a.width and then we wrap that one in parentheses and we're going to say or in another pair of parentheses and we're going to say player dot x plus player dot width is greater than or equal to a dot x and scroll over player dot x plus player dot width is less than or equal to a dot x plus a dot width put a colon at the end the next line is going to be checking for the y's, so it'll be very, very similar. We'll just say if parentheses player.y is greater than or equal to a.y and player.y is less than or equal to a.y plus a.height. Get out of the parentheses, say or, new pair of parentheses, and say player.y plus player.height player.height is less is greater than or equal to a dot y and player dot y scroll over plus player dot height is less than or equal to uh, a dot y so a dot y plus a dot height throw a colon there and so if both of these if statements return true that means the player collided with one of the asteroids and we are going to lose a life as well as get rid of that asteroid so before, let's just say pass for now and go up to the very top of the program and we're going to create a new variable right here under game over and call it lives so to start off the game the player will have three lives so we'll say lives equals three and so we'll go back down to where we just were so we said pass right here if there is a collision between them we are going to say lives minus equals one and then we're gonna get rid of that asteroid so we will say asteroids dot pop and then we will say asteroids dot index of so dot index and then we'll throw in a so in that way we'll get rid of the asteroid so it doesn't keep taking out the lives for every single frame that we're overlapping with that asteroid as soon as we hit it the asteroid will disappear what we're also going to do is we're going to say break so that the code doesn't continue and check to see if a bullet hit that asteroid because at that point the asteroid's already gone it's going to be checking with nothing and it'll cause a lot of errors so we need it to say break right here so that's looking good what we're also going to have to do is go down to the bottom of the so after this whole entire while or for loop for like for for the asteroids we're going to go right above keys and what we're going to do is we're going to say if lives is equal to is equal to zero or i guess we could just say less than or equal to just to be on the safe side so that means the game is over so we'll say game over is going to equal true and if it returns that game over is true everything should freeze so now let's run the code and make sure everything's working so now if i go up to this asteroid 
the asteroid disappeared and I lost life. I go here and here. All right, so I hit three asteroids. The lives went from three to zero and everything froze, which is exactly what we wanted. We should also have some kind of way for the user to know how many lives they have. So we can just create a text on the top left corner and it'll just show them how many lives they have. So let's go up to the redraw game window. Uh, method, it's going to be right here above the while loop. And what we're going to do first is create a font. So we're going to say fonts is going to be equal to pygame.fonts dot sys fonts and we'll pass in Arial and if you want a different font you can definitely just type it in there and we'll give it a size of like 30 so that should be good and what we're gonna do is say we're gonna create a score tech not a score text we're gonna create a life a lives text so we'll say lives text is gonna equal fonts dot render and we'll pass in what we want it to say so it'll say lives colon space and then we're gonna say plus um, lives, which is the number of lives they have left. We're going to say str and wrap lives in parentheses in order for it to turn it into a string. And the next parameter we have to throw in there is going to be um, the number one, which means that it doesn't have an anti-alias. I don't really know what that is exactly, but just, just say one and we can continue. And then the last thing we have to say is the color. We'll make it white. So 255, 255, 255. That is looking good. So now that we've created the font, we've created the text that we want to display, the last thing to do is actually throw it on the screen. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually go down to the bottom of the method so that the 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 text showing how many lives they have is always gonna be displayed on top. And if an asteroid goes under it, it doesn't overlap the um, text. So we're gonna go right here under the for loop, and we are going to say when dot blitz lives text and then we're going to give it a point for where we want it to display that i think the top left corner will be good so we're just going to say like 25 25 that'll be like 25 pixels to the right and down from the top left corner and yeah let's run this and make sure it's all working so it crashes which is no big deal let's go here and check to see where it's crashing from so it's crashing from this line and the reason for that is because, all right, guys. So basically, what the problem was is that we needed to add the line pygame.init into the game. I don't know how I forgot that initially, so we'll just throw it right on the very top. We'll just say pygame.init. Throw some parentheses there, and then when we go back down to this method, um, it should be working. So let's run this. Yeah, so right now we've got lives in the top left corner. Um, let's hit one of these. Now we went down to two, one, zero, and the game froze. So that's looking good. Let's make the size 30. I don't know why I dropped it down to 20. I think that's a good size. It looks pretty decent. And then the only thing we have to do is I moved this up whenever I was trying to figure out what the problem was. So just make sure you have live, or just make sure you have this line win dot blit, um, at, right above pi game dot display update. So now whenever an asteroid comes, and it overlaps with it, it'll be underneath instead of above, and it'll always be displayed. So like right there, perfect. Next, what we need to do is whenever the whenever the uh, the user has zero lives left and the game is over, we need to give them an option to play again, right? So let's go down to this for loop where we can actually shoot and what we're going to do is we're going to say so here we have if not game over then we're going to shoot right but then we can just say else and in the case that the user presses space and the game is over then the game will start back up again they'll go back to three lives and the score will be reset which now that i think about it we still have to add the score and that's okay we'll add, it, we'll add it right after this so if they press space in the event that the game is over well, then game over is going to be set back to true. Lives is going to go back to three. Um, and we are going to clear the list of the asteroids so that it'll just start back up from the, like it'll be fresh when it starts, right? So asteroids.clear. And yeah. So now when we run this, 
and we lose. So let's go hit these asteroids. There's one, two, three. If I press space, if I press space, it doesn't work because. Oh, wait. <laughs> so game over needs to actually be false, not true. There we go. So now when I go hit these asteroids, there's one, two, and three. If I press space, we get three lives, we can play again, we can shoot again, and everything is working. We should also add some text that is going to be displayed whenever the game is over, telling the user what to do to play again. So just like we have lives text, we're going to have play again text. And it's going to be set equal to font.render. And it'll say press space to play again. And we'll say one and then give it a color of white. And then we can just um, we'll display right here under everything else. So we'll say win.blitz. We're going to say play again text. And this one's going to be centered on the screen, so we're going to say screen width divided by 2 minus play again text dot get width divided by 2. So that'll center it horizontally, and we just got to center it vertically, so we'll say screen height divided by 2 minus play again text dot get height divided by 2. So now when we run this, Oops. So actually, we want it. We only want to do that whenever the game is over, right? So we're gonna say if game over, and then we'll tab that over. So by default, it's not showing up. And then if we lose, there's one, two, three. Press space to play again. Press space. Everything clears up. We get our three lives back, and we can still play. So now let's add score to the game. So let's go up to the very top, right under where we created lives. We're gonna create score. We'll say the score is going to be zero by default, and then let's give the user, um, we can say like 10 points for hitting a big asteroid, 20 for hitting a medium sized asteroid, and 30 for hitting a small asteroid, right? Because the small ones are a little bit harder to hit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the while loop where we check for collisions between the bullets and the asteroids, right? So in this for loop, and then in this like nested for loop right here is where we create the new asteroids right so at the very top what I'm going to say is if it hits an asteroid of rank 3 we're going to say score plus equals 10 and then else if it hits an asteroid of rank 2 then score is going to plus equal 20 and then we can add an else at the very end this will be in the case that it hits an asteroid of rank 1 which is the small asteroid and we'll say score plus equals 30. So that should be good. Now we just have to display the score. So we'll go up here again, say score text is equal to font.render. And we'll say score colon space plus str parentheses score. And then we'll pass a one and then the color white 255, 255, 255. Perfect. And then the score will always be displayed, so we'll just put it between those two. We'll take it out of the if game over if statement. We'll say win dot blitz, and it'll be score text. And this one we'll put at the top right corner, right? So for the x, we need it to be the screen width minus the actual text's width. So we'll say score width score text dot get width. And then we'll just kind of have like a 20 pixels, or we'll say 25 to match the other side. So now it'll be like the, the very end of that text will be 25 pixels from the right of the screen. And then for the Y, we'll just drop it 25 like earlier. So that should be good. Um, we also have to go down here to where we reset the game if the user presses space to play again. And whenever the user plays again, we'll set the score back down to zero. And yeah, let's run this. So by default, the score is zero. If I hit this one, we got 30 points. If I hit medium, we got another 20. There's another 30, another 20 and 30. If we hit a really, so we're at 160. If I hit this big one, we go up to 170. And yeah. So those are the main features that you need to have like the 
clone of the Asteroids game. I mean, the game is fully functional. We have score, we've got lives, we have a, 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 an option for the user to play again. Some other stuff that I want to add in the next video is it's going to be like the star that comes up randomly, and if you shoot it, then rapid fire gets turned on, and you can actually hold down the space and just shoot infinite bullets. And I also want to have an alien come randomly, which is going to be one of the enemies. And what the alien's going to do is if you get shot by the alien, then you also lose a life. So those are the other things that we're going to go over. But yeah, I think this is going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment down below if you're having any issues, and I can try my best to help you out. Or if you just want to DM me on Instagram, it's at coding underscore comedy. I'll reply much quicker, and then that way I can see exactly what the error message is, or I can take a look at your code and see what's up. So yeah, thanks for watching, and peace.